Hi there, this is Etox, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we are back with another video. This time, I will discuss about the minimum fee for basic services as percentage of construction cost. Stay tuned if you want to know more about this topic, but first, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell button to be updated of our latest post. Last January, the Association of Structural Engineers of the Philippines Incorporated, together with Institution of Specialist Structural Engineers of the Philippines, released a Manual of Practice for Structural Engineering. This manual is similar to that of Philippine Institute of Civil Engineers, which was previously released. In this manual, located in Chapter 5.8, it is schedule of minimum fee for basic services as percentage of construction cost for each building design category. Category 1 are essential facilities, while Category 2 are hazardous facilities. For more information about the structural construction cost, you can refer on the right part of the screen. Category 3 are Special Occupancy Structures. You can refer in the right part of the screen to know more about the minimum basic lump sum fee on structural construction cost and based on total constructed floor area. Categories 4, 5, and 6 are Standard miscellaneous which are other structures not falling from categories 1, 2, and 3, special structures, complex structures, and infrastructures. To know about the schedule of minimum fee based on structural construction cost and based on total constructed floor area, you could also refer on the right part of the screen. There are two methods for solving structural fee. The first method is using the total structural construction cost. In solving using the total structural construction cost, first is you have to define the category of the structure. Next, get the value of SEC which is given by the client. Thirdly, check the SEC on the table. And lastly, solve using the formula indicated on the table. To illustrate the first method, here is an example. Suppose a contracting structural engineer is commissioned by the client and renders basic services such as services based on specialization, signs and seals the documents, and renders consultancy services. We will calculate the minimum fee for a project with a structural construction cost of 10 million pesos. We can check the table on the lower right part of the screen. Considering our total structural construction cost of 10 million, find the given SEC on the table. From the value on the table, we can get 240,000 plus 2.56% in excess of 7.5 million. Calculate, and finally, we get 304,000 pesos as the fee. Next method is solving using the total constructed floor area or TFCA. Here are the steps. First, define the category of the structure. Next, get the value of TFCA which is given by the client and could be derived under conceptual plans. Third is check the TFCA on the table. And lastly, solve using the formula indicated on the table. To illustrate the solving using method B, here is an example. Let us assume that the area is 650 square meters. Find the given TFCA on the table on the right part of the screen. From the value at the table, use the formula and calculate. The result is the fee, which is 275,356.8 pesos. TCFA 
commonly known as the computed floor area, is the basis for most structural engineers in determining the design fee. Before these guidelines were created, the common cost for structural design services ranges from 100 to 150 pesos per square meter. But this could go as low as 50 pesos per square meter if the TCFA is large enough. However, this is not totally regulated. Because of some external factors and extreme market pressure, some even dive way down up to 20 pesos per square meter. In your own opinion, is a new tariff justifiable, way too high, or too low? Before answering this question, we should know what are the expenses that our structural engineers pay directly or indirectly in such engagements as stated in 5.1.4.1 and 5.1.4.2. Direct non-salary expenses. This includes living and traveling expenses of employer, partners, and principals when away from home, office, on business trips connected with a project. This also includes identifiable communication expenses other than for general correspondence. This also includes services directly applicable to the work, such as special legal and accounting expenses, computer rental and programming costs, special consultants, borings, laboratory charges, commercial printing and binding, and similar costs that are not applicable to general overhead. This also includes identifiable drafting supplies and stenographic supplies and expenses charged to the client's work and identifiable reproduction costs applicable to the work such as blueprints, photo setting, mimeographing, printing, and the like. Indirect costs are those overhead costs which comprises a major portion of the compensation generated with a multiplier on salary cost. Indirect costs are the following. Provisions for office, power, water, and similar items for working space, depreciation allowances, or rental for furniture, computer equipment and engineering instruments, automobile expenses, and office and drafting supplies not identifiable to specific projects. These include taxes and insurance other than those included as salary costs, but excluding local and national income taxes. Also, these include library and periodical expenses and other means of keeping abreast of advances in engineering such as attendance at technical and professional meetings. Indirect costs also involves executive, administrative, accounting, legal, stenographic, and clerical salaries and expenses, and business development expenses including salaries of principals and salary costs of employees engaged, and also provision for loss of productive time of technical employees between assignment. In addition to the above mentioned, I would also like to highlight the following necessary costs. First is the cost of structural software. It is very important to have a licensed software than a crack version. This will give the designer a reliable calculation, which is questioned if you use the latter. Aside from the legal penalties, the users of crack software will be charged on. Secondly, the payment for attending continuing professional development seminars is quite pricey. Every three years, an engineer should attain a certain number of points so that his or her license could be renewed. And lastly, the educational expenses and time that the designer paid since the beginning of college until his master's or doctorate degree is a big value notable to mention. On top of those mentioned, Indicated in the building permit and as highlighted in Article 1723 of the Civil Code of the Philippines, the engineer or architect who drew up the plans and specifications for a building is liable for damages if within 15 years from the completion of the structure, the same should collapse by reason of a defect in those plans and specifications or due to the defects in the ground. Acceptance of the building after completion 
does not imply waiver of any of the cause of action by reason of any defect mentioned. The structural designer is accountable for 15 years for his or her signed and sealed design. Imagine your given fee is divided by 15 years. That is a relatively small amount you pay for the peace of mind you are enjoying on your property. In conclusion, the purpose of this is to give guidelines on how to identify the minimum fee for basic services as percentage of construction cost. Although there are a lot of external factors to consider, we hope that through this video, we are able to give an idea to the public and to the structural engineers, especially those who are just starting in their practice. So that's it for this video. What do you think about it? Is a new tariff justifiable? Too high or too low? Tell us about your thoughts in the comment section. If you like this video, please hit the like button, or if there is anything that you want us to discuss, you could also leave it in the comment box below. Of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell button to be updated of our latest post. Once again, this is Etox, where we value your professional growth. See you in our next video. Bye! -bye.